A shocking report has come out which says that Nestle adds sugar to its baby formula products essentially Cerelac in India, but the same product is being sold without any added sugar in countries like UK and US. Now, this double standard has obviously raised alarms and questions. The 15 Cerelac products analysed from India contain nearly 3 grams of added sugar per serving on average. Now, here we are talking about products for children under 2 years of age. Now, experts say that adding sugar, which is highly addictive to baby product, is both an unnecessary and a dangerous practice. Now, this was found when a Swiss group, Public Eye and International Baby Food Action Network, sent some Nestle baby food from Asia, Africa and Latin America to a lab in Belgium for testing. It was found that Nestle adds sugar and honey to the infant milk and cereal products, which is obviously a clear violation of international guidelines for preventing obesity and other diseases. But interestingly, the violations were found only in low-income countries of Asia, Africa and Latin America. So why this double standard? Well, it turns out that Indian food regulation surprisingly does not prescribe any upper limit for added sugar in baby food. Whereas most countries in the West have strict guidelines against added sugars in food for children under 3. Now, looks like Nestle has exploited this loophole. In fact, the spokesperson even said that Nestle has always complied with local regulations. So, technically, nothing unlawful is happening when in fact they're getting children addicted to sugar. Children get used to the sweet taste and starts looking for more, hence starting a negative cycle. Now, this heightens the likelihood of obesity, which is already a growing problem in India considering 8 million children in India are obese. Now, all of this is more alarming because Nestle is a household name in India. In fact, Nestle sold over rupees 20,000 crore worth of Cerelac products in 2022 alone. And interestingly, Nestle's website giving advice on nutrition for babies states that it is not recommended to add sugar when preparing food for your baby, nor to offer him sugary drinks. Avoid juice drinks or the mixed drinks which have added sweeteners. Always check the label. But somehow this doesn't seem to apply on their own products. And it's not always easy for consumers to tell if a product has added sugar, how much is present based on the label alone. Now, Nestle in a statement has shared that over the past five years, we have already reduced added sugar by up to 30% depending on the variant. We regularly review our portfolio and continue to innovate and reformulate our products to further reduce the level of added sugars without compromising on nutrition, quality, safety and taste. Now, a report quoted Nigel Rollins, a scientist at WHO, who told Public Eye that the fact that Nestle doesn't add sugar to other countries but is quite happy to do it in lower resource settings is problematic both from a public health and ethical perspective. Now, previously, Nestle had faced criticism when the company's Maggie was banned in 2015 following the discovery of excess lead. And it also raised important questions on the role of FSSAI in India. Countries like US and China follow strict food safety standards backed by strong and transparent regulations and accreditation systems. In India, the government needs to step up, conduct regular tests and enforce global health guidelines. And as the world's largest food company, Nestle also has a responsibility to ensure that its product meets the highest nutritional standards regardless of the market in which they are being sold.